Hi, everybody. My name is Bailey, and I am here with um, Etsy Critiques with the Million Dollar Etsy Shop. And today I am going to be critiquing something a little bit different. So this is a print shop. Um, this person does prints. The birds up here is an excellent design choice for her um, her banner. This is something most people overlook, and I think it's a mistake to not have something beautiful here. Um, as everyone knows, I love birds. <laughs> I have chickens, and I love them, and I have ducks, and I love them. Um, so I was very happy to do this critique because I love birds. They're great. Um, so we'll go ahead and dive in and help her move from 26 sales to hopefully 2,600 sales. Uh, I think we can do it. Um, there are a few things. So she's clearly she's selling stuff because she's so talented. This is beautiful work that anyone would want to hang in, in their house. It's very versatile. Um, it's collectible. There's a lot of great things going on. Um, one thing that I like to do in most of my shops, is I like to analyze what is already selling. So as you can see, um, she is selling these sets. Um, and I did a little research, um, set of four. That's a keyword that, um, or like print set of four, the, that, that is a good keyword or set of two. So I think that might be how people are finding this stuff set of three. So I think that's a good keyword to keep. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. So print, when I typed in, is it print or illustration? I typed something in earlier. It was, no, it was bird. So I typed in something earlier and set of four was coming up that was related to her. So anyways, just keep doing that. Um, anyone else in other industries, maybe sets aren't being tied in, but when it comes to wall decor, I think, maybe that's what I typed in. Yeah, something like that. So this might be a good long tail keyword for her to, her to use, wall decor. Um, so I think that there's no reason why this can't be a huge shop. I think the biggest idea I had for her to drive a lot of traffic is personalized stuff. She's already selling some personalized drawings. These look like botanical drawings. Two critiques on this. One critique is I think that I changed my mind. I'm not going to mention that. Um, I think this is fine. I was going to say maybe change the picture, but anyways, if you're going to do personal, my second idea, this is the, where the money maker is. Um, if you're going to do personalized drawings, you need to really understand the personalized market on Etsy because it is a huge beast. This is where Etsy makes a gajillion dollars a year, like probably actually a gajillion if it's even an amount of money. <laughs> but anyway, so how do you research a big market? Um, I like to research big markets before I find my niche in that market. Um, her niche is probably hand-drawn, um, ink drawings, bird drawings, stuff like that. So to research a big market, first thing you're going to want to do is type in personalized, right? All right, so this is the type of personalized stuff people want. Personalized gifts. It's a massive, in massive industry, but it's a good place to start doing your research. Um, as you can see, 2 million results. You will never show up using this as a keyword, but you can turn this into a long tail keyword. Here's some ideas up here that'll make it a little shorter, but these are still too broad. Um, so, but what is she personalized? She's doing personalized illustrations. All right, the first thing that immediately comes up is family. So I know she's doing botanical and birds, but maybe consider looking into this long tail keyword. This is not that big of a niche. It's a little big, but you are more talented than a lot of these people. Okay, I'm not going to point anyone out to be mean, but I think that if you don't mind drawing humans, and you can do something more cartoony if you don't want it to be um, too... I mean, you do realism, so I think you'll do fine. I think you could figure this out. And I know it might not be what you're particularly interested in right now, but I think that you are more skilled than most of these people and you have you will have no trouble climbing this to the top. And this industry is great. Great for gifts. People are doing this for their Christmas cards. Um, they're doing this for wedding invitations and stuff like that. And that brings me another point. You can start doing looking into the wedding invitation market. Um what did I say? Christmas card market. Things that people want or things that people 
buy frequently and people are looking for on Etsy, um, even without doing family portraits, you could do bird stationery if you aren't already um, and figure out how to actually, you could do two things. You could sell the file, which I think you already do. Um, or even better, I think most people prefer to just buy the set. So you can make a set of 100 stationery, set of 25 of thank you notes of um, Christmas cards and stuff like that, even with your beautiful bird drawings. Um, calendars, I just spent a lot of money on Etsy buying these illustrated calendars for the office. Um, that's a January, it's a seasonal item that does well in January and I think the end of December. Um, and like planner notebooks, stuff like that. Each month when you open it up to a different bird and you could write something about them, um, the species, you could focus on American birds and then you have all these long tail keywords like um, il bird illustration of, of the United States or of Europe or whatever or something like that and type little information. So I would definitely look into things that people are looking for. So the other idea I had, which is kind of on the same note, personalized illustration family, Personalized illustration, pets. All right, this is something that a lot of people, Etsy has featured this, so I know that Etsy loves this and they might feature it again. They usually cycle the same stuff. And I see all of my friends are spending stupid amounts of money getting these drawings of their dogs and their cats and chickens. <laughs> so this might be something to consider doing too. And I know this might not be... Um, your concept and what your heart is into. But if you really want to start making money, you might have to move away from the art and into the craft. And I'm going to do a whole series on art versus craft at some point. And I think a lot of artists like don't like to sell out or whatever, but that's all fiction. Selling out doesn't exist. You either make money with your art or you don't make money with your art. And sometimes you have to give the customer what they're looking for um, to make money. So, and I don't know if that's something that you've thought about it all. But I think a lot of artists that talk to me, they, they say, well, I don't want to do that. And I'm like, well, have you tried? Maybe you'll enjoy doing it if you start making a lot of money doing it. Um, so it's just something to consider. Um, I would definitely research these industries, um, illustrate it. So you could do, even if you like, it wasn't like, if you hand drew the, um, let me see, hand illustrated wedding. And, but to see, look at this one just came up. Can you imagine a bride would love to have hand illustrated wedding, wedding invitations? I mean, how bougie is that? And I guarantee people 508, this came up. This is a great niche. This came up as something that a lot of people are looking for and only 600 people are doing it. So this is a, this is an excellent micro niche to be in. Um, and whether you actually hand paint each one or you figure out how to print the name and then just draw your detailing, um, something like that. You could figure out how to get your manufacturing process a little bit more doable so you can sell it for $3 a card. Um, or it's just the original design is hand illustrated and you print it on multiple ones, but it's customized. I'm just kind of brainstorming some keywords that you can use. But I think this is, and you don't even have to, you could do the bride and the groom, personalize with the bride and the groom, or you could do something botanical like you've done before that might be symbolic or a bouquet, something beautiful like that. Like, um, I don't like opening shops too often. Like obviously don't copy this person specifically, but, um, you can come up with your, you're, you're a great designer. You can come up with something similar to this. And this is the kind of stuff people are looking for. Um, the third thing I don't know, or the 30th, <laughs> you are focusing on Scandinavian decor. That's one of the keywords that you are using. Um, so I typed in Scandinavian to see what people are looking up. So Scandinavian decor, as you can see, is a great keyword, but Scandinavian modern, maybe you want to put that in there too. I think you're using Scandinavian print. If you aren't, add it. Um, Scandinavian jewelry, um, even personalized hand illustrated jewelry. Let me see. Illustrated. Illustrated jewelry came up. So maybe experiment with creating pendants and, and go into a little bit of a different, just experiment in a different industry. Because um, one thing that I noticed and the reason I got this idea was look at this. So the editor pick is these, this is kind of tying all of these ideas in together, right? Is 
these personalized cat and chihuahua um, pendants that look hand illustrated, right? So you're think about all of these powerful keywords that would be in this item. People would find you from personalized pet. They'd find you from hand illustrated pet and find you from jewelry, pet jewelry. Like there's all of these keywords that people are looking for. Um, so that's why this is, this is really brilliant. Um, let me see what else they featured. It's kind of the basic stuff on that's on Etsy, but look at these. This, I mean, this is kind of like gaudy, but I mean, P, I guarantee people are buying these. This is cute. Like, um, and like this, like, I know that it's might not specifically be your style, but you can put your own spin on it. Um, yeah. So that is a lot of stuff for you, um, to, to absorb and think about. But, um, if you have any questions, you can obviously comment below or message me on the Facebook group, which the link is in the description. Um, you're friends with me on Facebook now, I think. So you can message me there and anyone else who has questions about this video, feel free to comment below. Um, thanks for watching and please subscribe.